Hey guys, Rhett here. What's going on down here in Birmingham um, at another client's property? I want you to come on in with me. Um, it's about 50% finished. We're looking at another about seven to 10 days. Uh, but I want you to see the progress that, that is, um, uh, has been undertaken here. This client, this is his second property. His first one was a phenomenal success. So we are in here, looks great, come on in. Nice and cool in here. Got some new HVAC updates in here also. So guys, this is a really big house, okay? Um, we've done a lot of trim updates in here. Trim looks really good. Um, the paint, there's all uh, aluminum windows throughout this whole house that look really, really nice. Um, all that stuff has been updated. Uh, there's a fireplace in here as well. Um, so it's a really, really nice property, guys. A three bedroom, needs a lot of work. Um, the budget on this one was $20,000. Um, it, it, to make it perfect, it needs about another five. Um, and, and I'll tell you why, and we'll discuss that as we go. But with a house like this, it's so grand, it's so nice. Um, this thing will be on the rental market for a few days before someone comes in and takes it up. So guys, you came from the living room. This is a, another formal living room or a kitchen. Um, you know, big dining room area off of the kitchen. Um, one of the things that I've discussed with the client is, is putting carpet down in here, okay? Now, a lot of people say, carpet, you're crazy. But a lot of times, guys, we're renting these units out to uh, mothers with multiple children, okay? Hardwood is, is not the flooring of choice when we talk about mothers with kids. Now I hear all the time, oh, we gotta turn it over all the time. Guys, Section 8 tenants are in these units for between 10 and 15 years on average, okay? The turnover time, we're not having to turn these things over all the time. We're not having to do it. So carpet is, is big for us. It's also one of the cheapest ways to go. Um, so this floor, it's been through a lot. It's been beat. Uh, it has some damage in places. It's got mold issues in other places. It's just been worn down. There's been carpet on it over the years um, that have been recently ripped up. So um, come on in as we continue walking through, guys. Uh, this is our kitchen, okay? Really nice size kitchen. Really nice size kitchen. So what we've done here, it had a lot of subfloor issues. We ripped up the subfloor. We have Luan down here. What we'll end up doing here, guys, is we'll put vinyl down throughout here as well. Um, nice little breakfast nook dining area in there also. Really nice complement to this. You can have a formal dining room out there and a little breakfast nook in here, guys. It's a huge house. People are going to love this thing once it goes on the market, okay? What people are not going to love is the current condition of the countertops and the cabinets, right? So when we were getting into this house, uh, we got underneath this and we found that there's significant rotting in the subfloor. You're not going to be able to tell, but all this is rotted out here from years and years of leaks, okay? So it rotted through um, this uh, metal basin right here, rusted it out. I don't want to really touch it because it's got disgusting water in there. But um, so it rotted through that and went down into the subfloor, rotted through the subfloor. So the integrity of the subfloor is a little uh, questionable. So. What I'd like to do is I'd like to re-secure that flooring. Um, and we have already new cabinets that we've ordered. So we'll build those up here, um, rip all this stuff out, all new cabinets, all new countertops. This place is gonna look really, really good, okay? Now, as we continue through the house, guys, so what happened back here was somebody had the, had the brilliant idea of trying to turn this into a bathroom. So that's what that is right there. That's a um, entrance to the sewer, okay? So we're gonna cap that, really cap it, not that fake cap. We'll put all new flooring down in here. We'll reinforce the subfloor in here. We'll put all glue on down on top of all this, clean it up. We've done some sheetrock work. We put in a new ceiling here as well. This is all fresh work um, that, that we've done. We'll finish all this. We'll do trim on here. We'll, we'll do all this the right way, okay guys? So coming in here, this carpet was actually in here. Now, you guys can't smell it. It smells terrible. Um, I don't know if there has been water damage. I don't know if somebody left a window open. All these windows are new, guys, aluminum windows. But it smells awful. 
Um, we need to put a new carpet in here, kind of going with the theme, ripping this thing up um, and putting carpet throughout the whole house, I think would just be kind of that home run to put it over the edge. Um, so we have a closet, guys, in here. It's behind these two security doors. Um, but we have a closet in here, so it is a legal bedroom. Now, one of the issues we ran into with this house was the other two bedrooms didn't have closets, okay? So not a problem. You have this great bedroom with new windows, um, but it didn't have a closet. So we built a closet, which we normally do, okay? That's what we'll do, guys. So. We built this nice closet, it's perfect, and now it will pass section eight because we, it has a closet, it has windows, it has multiple egresses, so it works great for everybody. Okay, guys? Um, and as you know, that's extremely important while we do this, okay? So, coming off of um, bedroom number two, we have our bathroom. Now, our bathroom needs a ton of work, we, the only thing we've done in here is, is gone in and, and re-supported the floor a little bit, but uh, this, is, this is one of our next projects in, in this house, okay? So this thing needs to be completely redone, cleaned up, and, um, and uh, you know, made to look a lot nicer than it is now, which isn't that hard considering the condition that it's in right now, okay? So, guys, coming in here, this is bedroom number three. Um, obviously, we'll rip this disgusting carpet up, take this monstrosity of ugliness down. What is this? I, I don't even know what this is. It looks like two fans, you know, on top of each other. Oh, please, God, <laughs> what is this? So, um, we're going to rip this floor up. We're going to rip this out with, with vengeance. Um, and then what we're going to do, guys, as, as you can tell, what we've already done is we've put another closet here as well. So, this is another room that didn't have a closet come in here um, and, and, and build a closet out and it looks really, really good. And now we have a Section 8 passing unit. Again, guys, so that's an old original window behind you, two aluminum windows um, that make the house look just really nice. So, guys, really, really great bones to this house. High ceilings, really nice trim work. Um, I, I think that uh, carpet throughout this would look really, really good. Um, and, and it'd be a really nice finishing touch for this house. We're about 10 days, uh, 14 days from being done with it. We'll have to do the kitchen, that back room, and the bathroom. That's really all that, that's, that's left of this. If, if we get the go ahead um, to put carpet down, we'll lay carpet throughout this thing. Uh, the painting has been done, so we'll do our flooring next. We'll rip these cabinets out. We'll take care of the bathroom situation. Um, and, and this thing will be ready to go, guys. You know, it, it's on a really, really nice street in a really nice neighborhood. Um, I'm pretty fired up for the client. He's gonna have two really nice houses when this thing's said and done. So, uh, really happy for him, guys. If you have any questions, leave them, drop them below, questions or comments. If you're interested in getting into the coaching program and, and being able to get into properties like this, purchase, property, uh, purchase price on this, very low, guys. All these properties were, were, were able to get in that you know twenty to fifty thousand dollar window when it comes to houses that need a lot of work now of course there are outliers to that but that's a really really easy area for you to get into okay um, rehab on this again is twenty thousand um, and, and we're gonna see if we can get a little bit more to make this thing just get over that hump just get over the top to be kind of the nicest house on the street so guys questions and comments below and we'll see you next time